there, Victoria here. I am a fitness and wellness coach for moms and expecting moms. And today we are talking about how to breathe better. So if you are pregnant, if you are early postpartum, if you are even a few years or more postpartum, you can benefit from this video because in order for us to have better core and pelvic floor health, to keep our body, our core feeling strong and stable during pregnancy and to help heal that core um, and pelvic floor postpartum and to help you feel more connected through your core, even if you are a more seasoned mom with older kids, learning how to breathe better is crucial. So you may have heard somewhere along the way that in order to recruit your big breathing muscle, your diaphragm muscle, you have to learn how to open your rib cage like an umbrella or breathe into it in a 360 degree manner during every breath. So this is something that I work on with all of my coaching clients. We get them to learn how to breathe better so that they can start reconnecting with their core better. Um, and oftentimes they struggle with this. They, you know, many of us are either belly breathers or we are chest breathers. So really learning how to use that diaphragm in a way that helps to open up that rib cage, really tap into using that diaphragm muscle can be challenging. So here is a nice tip that you can use to help you learn how to breathe more deeply, meaning opening up that rib cage like an umbrella with your diaphragm during every inhalation, okay? So what you're looking for is on every inhale, I want you to think about letting your belly only rise softly, having most of that air come here into your rib cage, so front, sides, and back, and even breathing into your lower back. So in order to help you get to do that better, we're gonna have you set up in child's pose. So you're going to come down, and if it's still comfortable for you, you can rest your belly on your, um, or in between your legs or in pregnancy, you can place um, a pillow or some blankets on the floor for added comfort and support. So you're gonna get into child's pose. You're going to take your forehead, rest it on your forearm, and all you're gonna do is practice breathing into that rib cage in all directions. And I'm having you do this um, in this position because having that, having your torso pressed up against your legs helps to give you good feedback of expanding into the front of your rib cage, but it also helps you, believe it or not, force you into breathing into the back side of your rib cage. So placing your forehead on your forearm, you can take your other hand, place it on your rib cage, Take a nice big inhale. Feel that rib cage expand in the front, sides, and back. And when you inhale, you should feel that back side of your rib cage expanding and even a nice gentle stretch down your lower back. It feels awesome. So, inhaling, working on expanding in all directions, and then exhaling, breathing all that air out. Now, one more thing that you can try and feel for too is notice if you can feel your pelvic floor expanding or relaxing and spreading on every inhale and feeling for if you can feel for that pelvic floor to come up, sort of like you're drawing up a tampon up higher into you. Um, those are just some other little tricks to keep in mind to help you with better pelvic floor activation. But for this video's purpose, I just want you to focus on really learning how to expand through every space of that rib cage with each inhalation breath. 